Hey guys, what's up? Uh, long time no see. It's been a few months. Uh, just kind of wanted to give an update while I'm in the process of doing some work, as you can see. Um, got the car all painted, all cleared, uh, all sanded, all buffed. It, the paint is all done. Um, there's a few hazy spots uh, that he just missed a little bit when buffing that got to be redone. Um, but it came out pretty good. Uh, the spoiler, the side skirts, the mirrors, and the little windshield wiper guard thing there has to be painted black again because, as you can see here on the mirror, um, it kind of, the spray cans we were using were junk, so we're just going to use that actual uh, spray guns like we used to paint the car and do that. Uh, you can see I got new mirrors. The way they're set up is they have these three places here where screws go in from your, you know, your door, and they screw into here. Well, here on this piece, or up here, one of these two, we over tightened it and it kind of it cracked the coating on it so that was crappy don't over tighten these that's just a heads up now um, or you're gonna buy another set like I did but so to the current project you can see there's no strut um, they're all out all the way around it's up on jack stands um, I've got some Raceland EG Ultimal coilovers coming um, so they'll be here tomorrow actually so I'll be able to bust that out um, all I gotta do is when the truck gets here unbox it off the truck throw them on the Civic and I'm done um, you can see in the last update how I was talking about how I wanted to tint this and stuff and um, it came out pretty good. I'm honestly surprised. Uh, it looks a little thinner on camera. It doesn't look as yellow, but yeah, that's a better shot. You can kind of see that it's pretty yellow. When you look at it like this, it just, oh wow, yeah, it actually looks pretty yellow. But anyways, yeah, so, uh, I just used some vinyl off eBay, some cheap stuff, and wrapped it, and it came out pretty good. There's no bubbles or anything in it. Um, but yeah, all the struts are out, um, have a new issue, if you guys watch all my videos previously, I was, I had an idle issue where it was idling so low that the motor would shake and stuff, um, so I figured out what that issue was, I had to, you know, jump the pin on the ECU and turn my idle up because the person didn't have it set correctly um, it's supposed to be two full rotations uh, clockwise from completely shut and it wasn't uh, so it was bogging down and idling rough um, that issue was all fixed and stuff but now I have another issue where it's like I have a vacuum leak but I don't so if it's just idling in the driveway everything's fine no issue uh, I back it out of the driveway take it on the road and start driving it um, if you're just driving through the gears normally you don't notice it but if you're coming to a hill and you're hyper miling or whatever and you just push the clutch in and leave it put it in neutral or whatever and leave it there you'll notice that the idle bounces uh, kinda like fluctuates up and down it goes up and then it falls on its face. It goes up, falls on its face. Goes up, falls on its face. Well, when I tried figuring out what my issue was before with my idle, I took off the idle air control valve and took it all apart and sprayed it with some, you know, brake cleaner or um, carburetor cleaner. And one of them, uh, it's not good for rubber. And I feel that there might be rubber inside that control valve. Um, so I'm wondering if it ate the rubber away and, uh, <clears throat> caused something to happen and it's just now finally doing it, but I don't know. 
the car came out pretty good that it's really smooth um, I don't touch it and I don't let people touch it because um, it's my baby and I don't want it to get scratched uh, but the sound system that used to be in here you could see the box kind of here uh, it used to be blue you guys saw it back when it was blue uh, it was just dirty and it kind of threw it off with the blue car and the blue box it didn't work um, the box was from my old car and it worked because all the little details were blue and the car was black so it worked seeing the blue but this it kind of clashed so I went with the black uh, box and it came out really nice uh, it's upside down right now so the speakers are facing down but uh, you can see there I painted them uh, silver they look really good uh, it's sitting on its face right now because I had to get to the um, strut mounts as you can see in here but new struts uh, tomorrow or new coilovers tomorrow I should say um, so it's going to be sweet. The uh, bodywork isn't perfect, but it came out awesome. You can see there's no like big dents in it or anything. The door handles are gone. The uh, side body line that used to be here is gone. There's a little lip all the way across. You can see that's what we use to go by to shave the doors. Uh, that's an actual factory line. Like All cars have that of this model. Um, but it's pretty cool. <clears throat> like if you go and look at other Civics that have this mod done to it where they just took out the, the body insert line or whatever, you'll see that they have that. Um, but yeah, coilovers tomorrow. Um, I'll do wheels eventually, but it's a VX, so I'm leaving the wheels on it how they are for good gas mileage and stuff. Um, I've been averaging uh, since I've painted it I'm getting around 50 uh, sometimes it's a little more and then the other times it's probably a lot less I get down to like the mid 40s uh, low 40s just because I like to drive it semi hard sometimes uh, when I wasn't driving it, I get out of my good driving habits with it. I used to baby it everywhere and shut it off and coast and whatnot. And, uh, but that habit escaped when I went back to my other car because it's so much faster. But it's pretty cool. I'm happy to have it back. Like I said, I gotta paint the black stuff again. Uh, I gotta paint this black too. I got new ones of these because these ones have like these weird dimples in them and stuff they're just so old uh, also I've got the trim that goes there and up there that was super expensive but oh, you can see I did some work in here uh, or I'm doing some work in here the light switch likes to not function correctly and these lights up here flicker uh, I went LED conversion for the gauge pod because it was getting too hot um, and the gauge would rotate and fall out and stuff um, I did some stereo work in here uh, you can see over here you got voltage it's sitting at 12.2 right now uh, this is output for uh, the subwoofers so I can see if you know they're distorting or if I'm playing them a little too loud same thing for the mids and highs uh, I can just monitor the system and, and what it's doing. Uh, so that was pretty unique and cool. It's just something to play with right now. Um, I was <coughs> oh, excuse me. I was thinking about taking these door inserts and the inserts in the back, and I was gonna take them out and do the. Uh, wrap them again with bride material like the JDM bride seat wrap things like the inserts uh, you can see here on this seat where kind of you have a centerpiece um, 
well, the bride seats have those, and that's pretty cool. Something I was thinking about doing. Um, just gotta wait and get more money. I spent all my money on the coilovers. But, also going to put the front lip on eventually. Um, it's just gonna take some time. Uh, gotta paint the inserts black. I'll probably do that when I do the molding up here and like the mirrors and spoiler and stuff but it's been pretty cool I'm really liking the car I'm happy this is the car I picked uh, there's gonna like I said just doing the coilovers and repainting the stuff black and doing a little bit of interior work uh, after that I'm gonna drive it around for you know two years or whatever and save my money with the gas and stuff and I plan on buying a, you know, like a, the head uh, from a junkyard or something. And uh, I think I'm going to do like a stage three cam setup, which is a crazy cam. Uh, and then uh, I'll just have the head fully built. Uh, I believe you can leave the internal stock. Uh, I hear people when they uh, do... Um, you know builds like that that they use the VX rods uh, so well this motor already has them so I can just use those so apparently I'll be able to make like 200 plus at the wheels which would be awesome um, I'd like to be able to tune it myself and get like the Han data um, ECU and tune it because that'd be something I'd like to learn uh, gonna have to upgrade fuel injectors and stuff like that obviously but <clears throat> I want to be able to keep my VX head um, the fuel injectors uh, if I'm taking anything off the car uh, oh well, I should say it this way if I'm doing anything to the car to make it faster like changing parts out and stuff I'm keeping the old ones so I can literally just put them on and throw my stock ECU in and get my gas mileage again like it's not that hard to change the fuel injectors and put the, a different head on um, and then I just have my gas mileage again if I feel like road tripping or whatever um, I'll just be able to put my the P071 head on you can see there and then I can get good gas mileage and if I want to I can have my other head which I whatever one I choose I can build it up and make it fast and have a performance street car um, but uh, also something I'm doing this winter when I put the car up uh, my unequal lengths I have figured out the pipe sizes and stuff I'm gonna do um, how I'm gonna hook it up and you know mix it into the car so be looking forward to that uh, should be next spring I'll bolt them up uh, something I wanted to ask you guys if any of you guys have any knowledge of the VX or whatever is um, I want to be able to have a switch inside my car to shut lean burn off so it just doesn't come on unless I turn the switch on uh, it's not like I want the switch to uh, activate when lean burn is on and just shut it off or turn it on whenever I want because I know it doesn't work that way I just want to have that switch there so I can stop it from ever coming on and then if I want to I can just turn it on um, an option or something that I looked at was I know if you unplug the O2 sensor that it just runs uh, like a preset map in the ECU uh, which lean burn will never run uh, I don't want to do that because then it uses more fuel um, and it just runs a really rich mixture so I want to be able to run a you know mixture that's picked up by the O2 sensor but just not go into a lean mixture uh, so if any of you guys know a wire or something I can tap into and shut lean burn on and off like a wire that comes from the ECU uh, a color and you know like a location on the pin or something would be awesome and I'd also like to 
be reassured and have, uh, you know, kind of a backup explanation of people that have done it or something or someone like a video of them doing it and me being able to see that that's the correct wire so I don't actually go and mess something up. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. The Raceland Ultima coilover partially installed. I mean, they're not installed yet. You know, all of it's out. Uh, <clears throat> I talked about the idling issues. Uh, the lean burn, I asked you guys a question. Interior-wise, something I wanted to say was I plan on getting rid of these seats. You can see that there's like a, it goes down and there's like a little lump. Uh, that lump is killing my back. I wanted to mention that. So possibly new seats in the future. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty sweet. Oh, and I plan on doing rally armor mud flaps. Uh, they just kind of come down, go straight down, and go in. That was a little exaggerated. They're not that big, but I have the stock ones uh, right here. I bought the OEM Honda mud flaps. Uh, the genuine ones and my taste just kind of changed over time so I think I'm going to do the rally armors uh, if any of you guys want the original ones they're all brand new uh, they are open box I guess uh, but they've never been on the car they don't have road use just leave a comment below and uh, I can message you somehow and we'll figure things out if that's something you'd want to do um, so the videos dragging on uh, thank you guys for checking it out uh, keep watch out for the Ultimo uh, kind of review I think I'd want to call it uh, I want to just show um, what they look like once I put them on and lower it uh, I don't think I'm gonna go stupid low but I just wanted to get rid of the rally height I used to be able to take my hand and stick it in here and bounce it up and down <laughs> so that's gone but thank you guys for checking out the video always liking and subscribing and stuff uh, if you just watch the videos subscribe to me it's not like I'll be spamming your feed and stuff uh, you can just keep up to my videos and my Civic so thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later